the Royals day. Yeah. Getting real. We're it's the realest. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, look at that. Hey. I guess we're doing that too. <laughs> awesome. All that stuff. We're yeah. on TV. Once again, every day we turn on the machines and we just continue talking until you turn us off, which will be in an hour from now. Let's roll the dice. <laughs> yeah. Dice here, we're writing numbers on our hand between one and six, and we're gonna be uh, trying to visualize the future before we say anything, before we even get into it. First off, we're gonna be rolling some dice. Very first thing: five, four, three, two, one. Three rice dice, spice. Here we go. Four! Yeah! You know, people have been complaining about your rolling a little bit. That's of me. I got four. Uh, people said, he's not even rolling! We were, I was watching the, the episode at TCTV, and they watched you roll, and Bird said that too. You're not, you're not, he's not even rolling! Oh! <laughs> well, what a start. What a kickoff. You know, it is a real Booyah. thing. It's Tuesday. <laughs> what? Uh... Too much stuff to talk about. It's kind of intense. Getting real. <clears throat> yeah, okay, so. Okay, yeah, go for it. See. <laughs> uh, so I was over at Evergreen State College yesterday getting a little bit of an education from. Um, uh, Shaka, Shaka Khan? Well, now I just kind of forgotten his name. Commander. Zubak? No, it well it, it's the the guy John Withergerbachen from the Matrix. Uh Lawrence Fishburne? Uh no, no. Uh, Keanu it, Reeves? No. Uh It's an African American. Uh, um, Lawrence Fishburne? Oh, I, I sometimes I add, guy? add one extra Maybe he, L into his Jamaican? name. L L Lenny I had the ticket stub. Lenny Kravitz. No, not Lenny Kravitz. No. Uh, any anyway, he, he Roger was talking. Roger Samuelson. Uh, if I if I really wanted to, I'll pull pull up my Cor phone. Cornell, right? Cornell Wilson. Huh? Yeah, Cornell West. Cornell yes. West. Yeah, that's good because he went to Cornell, I believe, or at least Harvard. Um, graduated in three years. At least Harvard. From getting like uh, doing one doctorate program, I think. Uh, are you um, a doctor? You, you, uh, yeah, he's he's a doctor of of uh, I I guess uh, uh, philosophy or or you know understand can talk about race relations. So most of his talk um, yesterday was uh, about uh, people in poverty. And like four hundred years of of uh, um, oppression, and it was just kind of like sobering, you know, for me to like hear this again. And he uh, spoke about education versus schooling or whatever. And you know, it's like schooling is is where you go when you're at school, and not the education doesn't go like through you or the learning doesn't go through you but um, when you're talking when, when uh, education is like when you're you know doing um, marches every so often just because of your uh, educational process so what that was marches yeah yeah you, you know in, I don't in, know well engage in and and just like a uh, slight civil disobedience in terms of oh political marches. Well, the, I was yeah. thinking like marching band or like any lots of marches, lots of kind of marches. Yeah, well, uh, if you keep yourself on the on the on the sidewalk, I guess that's pretty much okay. Everyone can agree with that. Um, uh, but then Tuesday happened, 
and I, I, you know, there are two. That's, that's today, right? Yeah, that's today. Oh, two, okay. two, two things that are just kind of like, kind of like, speak about that long arc of justice, with uh, you know, in eh? relation to the four hundred years of, and you know, the, well, so of uh, uh, Cornell West spoke about you know crossing the Selma Bridge. Some people, you know, haven't even gotten on the bridge to cross it, you know. Uh, there, there's some people, you know, African Americans that are doing well. Uh, How about Jamaicans? Well, exactly. Um, exactly? Well, yeah, anything, a- any of a racial minority, uh, if, if they're in the United States, they would certainly be a minority, but... Uh, maybe in context of the whole world that they wouldn't be a minority but um w- whether or not you're jamaican white people or you're uh how Barack about if you're Obama, one of our white people well d- white people can can just take a break and how about and give mexicans? you know mexicans surely need some uh uh economic support as well how about lithuanians uh well um, now that that's kind of Lithuania is kind of like just south, or no, no, uh, Greece is south of Lithuania, and and uh, um, uh, Italy is just to the uh, east of it. And I um, or is that Kosovo? I'm not which, sure. Which race is the Kosovo. best race? Well, um, the human race. Yeah. Where oh, everyone. That's a good answer. Well. Uh, you ask. What I about told what about like the dogs and stuff? I thought you were into dogs. And they're better. Humans are better. Uh, Inherently. Well, the dogs can be better human beings, and some human beings can. Uh-huh. For sure, I I kind of look at Charlie as as you know, being someone that <laughs> maybe could be a good animal if he would not focus on peanuts so much. He wants peanuts. Yeah, he does. He he really does. So, shout out to you, Charlie. I kind of miss oh, you a wow. little bit until you start climbing on me, wanting peanuts. Then it's like, uh, get just off wants me. peanuts. Yeah, no. So there, there's this arc of justice that I, um, uh, uh, when I um, uh, came to this Tuesday, and it's like <laughs> the arc sounds uh, like a uh, superhero's weapon. Well, yeah. It Maybe. is the arc of justice. Well, uh, the, the, Who's the, not, who the slow arc justice? of justice, like the 400 years, you know, um, uh, certainly people like Barack Obama. So they, people deserve things. Established, you know, like gigantic wealth, you know, African Americans, you know, they don't need to cross the Selma Bridge they, that they already reached the other side. But um, there's a lot of people. Uh, I would say that it, you know, is certainly like 99% of <coughs> of um, African Americans still. Um, um, oh yeah, how about that wave wave machine? Crap. Um, anyway, um, so I saw this guy that was uh, kind of irksome at group today. Uh huh. And it was kind of interesting. The liar? The liar yeah. guy who called you a liar? Yep. yep. Are you a liar? Yep. Uh, so You're a liar. Well, I'm, I'm... You're a liar. I speak the liar. truth whenever I can. That's a lie. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm just, sorry. I'm just doing what the guy was doing. I fought... Uh, oh. Throw him in jail! Because he's... No. Um, anyway. He, uh, kind of, uh, um... What was... Getting kind of bored... Through throughout this hour and a half group, and then you know, w- well, when we made this goofy remark or whatever, um, uh, it seems to be a little bit of personal to him. It was not any way associated with it. We didn't mention his name. We didn't do this. We didn't do that. He just kind of got up and left, and. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the facilitator of the group says, "Will we see you next week?" And he says, "Maybe." Uh huh. And the group was ending in about seven minutes. Uh, he he Rude. was. Rude. He was. 
somehow sadly triggered whatever we said or whatever, and I don't really get comfort Tr- from this pain. I only get comfort that, you know, he will, I guess he kind of needs to focus and work on himself that he's not going to be a group for um, uh, maybe uh, two or three weeks or whatever. If so he has I his can, group, he has his own problems, though, right? Isn't it? Well, yeah, yeah. Um, there's uh, a, 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 a fair amount of people that have drug or alcohol programs at the groups that I go to. I have... Are you getting in a fight with a drug addict? Well, as the, he could be arguing with me in a certain sense. But anyway, uh, he, um, he seemed to... Um, be kind of down or, or whatever whenever we mentioned this one thing that just kind of upset him and I think it kind of pertains maybe to a, a, a maybe a personal matter I was kind of able to dissect the conversation a little bit you know when he got up and um, we were just kind of like using this crosstalk, joking around, chatter or whatnot. Someone else would chime in, and then the third person would chime in uh, on on an individual's check-in, and um, you, you know, laughter is being shared or whatnot. It wasn't felt by him, so um, it's unfortunate that he kind of felt sad that he needed to leave the group. But um, this could be. Uh, some sort of a little bit of a blessing to me and others that I know that have a problem with them and just say you know these, this could be somewhat of a, a moment that we can relax and, and, and just like gain our self confidence without being browbeaten brow you know as we're I thought this was supposed to be a support group well yeah he is it doesn't but sound sometimes, very supportive well sometimes he gets a little bit ornery whatnot you know well, like, by you though i mean you oh well i i just i i you and these other people it sounds like this this gr- uh, support group is getting clicky well yeah well maybe it and is he's getting but, ostracized again and why is he in the well support group in the first he's not he's not being ostracized by anyone else than his own mind and his own emotions like, yeah, but shouldn't he be, be supportive for nobody, that? That's why no, he's there. Well, no, no, no one, no one knew that he was being unfairly triggered until he reached the door, and uh, you know the facilitator of the group said, um, you know, like leaving so soon, or yeah. are you going to be back? And he's like, maybe he's in the group. He's uh, already going to the group because he has a problem expressing himself. Well, for and it's happening sure, to him yeah. In a new, let a, yeah. Another venue. He's having so many problems in life that he has to go seek a support group, and then even at the support group, the same problems continue to happen to the guy. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, Where's that, the justice that, in that? Well, that actually happened with another person that kind of walked out on the group today. And more than one. You had more than one walkout today, huh? Well, yeah, we did. But so this, he, one one other person, I guess, is having his uh, one year or five year anniversary of of something traumatic happening i'm not able to uh Is this, isn't this this whole thing supposed to be kind of anonymous or i don't know well i'm not naming names so All if right, i'm not okay. naming names and i don't know exactly what's going on i'm i'm sure that things i you, you know uh but he um did you did you confront the person who called you a liar no i i tried to um uh, he was actually uh, when I was checking about going in in front of Olympia City Council and whatnot, he tried to make it into a GLBT rainbow sort of thing, and you know, the, the, you, you know, like that. Well, I I didn't know exactly where he was coming from, so I kind of want to have him elaborate a little bit. You know, I was like, what, what does GLBT and whatever else that he was trying to say, you know, you know in, in relation to uh, going up in front of the Olympia City Council. Uh, what? It's like, well, what are you talking yeah. about? You're, you're, jump- you're jumping around. Oh, we're getting a phone call. <coughs> oh, wait. Oh, hello? Hello? Caller, hold on. Hello? 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hello. Hold on, caller. Hold on. Hold on. We can't hear you right now. Hello. They can hear us. We can hear them. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now they're gone. I think they're gone now. I messed um. it up. I messed it up. Hold on. We don't know who it was. Oh, oh, oh they're calling back. Hey. Hello? Hello, uh, call caller. Yeah, what is it right now? The, what? Uh, the, uh, the program, uh, why is the program not on right now, man? It's 1130, and, it's, and you guys didn't air the show tonight. I am uh -oh. sorry, Angry Steve. I guess we are behind the times. <laughs> yeah, we are behind the times. Hey, Steve, you're, you're waiting for us to turn up. Come on. Uh, is it on whatever is it? Whatever you guys say, is it the reader board or what's on there? And instead of us. Yeah, it's not on. Come on. Uh, is it on? What does it say? Is it the reader board or what's on there instead of us? Yeah, it's just the reader board. Uh-oh. Something's gone wrong on the production and we'll have to get to the bottom of it. Yeah, it's probably a uh, friend of the producer, you know, he had, uh, or somebody there, you know, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's not on, man. Thanks. And, uh, thanks for your, see if you're watching like a lot, huh? Well, yeah, dude, yeah, it's 1130 at night, man, and, uh, you know, the show's <laughs> not on. You know. Yeah, we're having a Steve. Thanks for thanks for being diligent about it. Yeah, yeah. You know, people pay for a cable service. You know, and uh, you know we want to watch our uh, TV programs, yeah. and they're not they're not on because somebody's like not doing their job somewhere along the line. Well, I'm, uh, you I'm should shocked. Be, yeah. I'm shocked that you think so highly of the program, but keep on watching. Somebody should give me a dollar. So if you're talking like that, I don't see any of that money, Steve. You know that, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, perhaps, perhaps. Well, where are the T-shirts? The whole thing, well, no, don't. Uh, the whole, the whole thing we're doing is uh, for free. So you know, this one day that we missed, it's it's a one a one time thing compared to all the other days that we've been on. You know. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and well, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, thanks, Steve. We'll call. We'll talk to Freddie, the producer, about it. I think he's probably sleeping right now, but uh, I'm sure it's some kind of mistake. But we'll be back tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks. Um, Thank you, Steve. Bye, you, man. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. well, I think we'll be on at 2 a.m. But you can watch us on YouTube if you uh, want to. <laughs> All right. There he goes. Well, the squeaky wheel does get the grease. Maybe, or it just gets replaced, but whatever, uh, getting mindful of problems and whatnot is is part of the process of being human, and I I like part that, so. Part of the process of being human? Yeah. Uh, okay, so you, you went to the city council today too, right? Yeah, yeah I went to the city council today, and uh, the, the, there's uh, a logo that uh, Cheryl Selby kind of has reported to say that she thinks that this logo is anarchist and it's the downtown ambassadors and so it's got like an a with the thought bubble circulating around it you know like a For comic book yeah. thought bubbles and i just uh i i didn't really enjoy being able to be at the podium and talking because uh just kept on getting nervous and I used maybe about three minutes and ten seconds before Mayor Buck's mom said uh, Carl Carl well, how, however often he said Carl uh -huh. it's like um, take your time take your seat your three minutes are up or whatever and so I just kind of scrolled to the very last paragraph and said, thank you, uh, city council members, for giving me the time and the space for me to express my views. Good day. Uh -huh. what yeah. Uh, but, you know, as well, I keep on saying, you know, like it's some sort of fad. Um, so I was sitting through the rest of the city council meeting and um, um, uh, uh, pro temp uh, Nathaniel Jones um, uh, was speaking about 
um, oh, we, I understand that there's a, a thing in, in the local press about the downtown ambassadors uh, uh, getting more than their allocated funds or whatever, like there's some sort of um, uh, cooking the books thing or, or something like that. And uh, not just one, you know, the staff person that was at the podium, but the city manager as well concurred with, you know, well, the city manager spoke first. And then the um, staff person, the uh, um, one doing the presentation at the podium, uh, spoke about um, how uh, the downtown ambassadors are physically sound or whatever um, uh, money is appropriated for their programs is allocated and everything's understood. And it's like, you know, I was hearing that and that was just like another one of these, you know, long arcs of, of, of uh, justice going on that it was like, wow, okay. So all that Cheryl Selby in, said in, in Friday's newspaper article was just trying to say uh, that she didn't like the uh, downtown ambassadors and that someone was fired uh, when after he got the um, downtown welcome center up and running, which is unfortunate. You know, I, I saw him um, through the halls of CRC sometimes. Um, but, uh, no, I, I didn't really share much space with him in order to talk to him. I, I don't know that he really joined lunch, but I, I spoke about lunch uh, very favorably at Capital Recovery Center. And the downtown ambassadors there are, are there and everyone joins in community, you know, with shared space and conversation and, and lunch. What <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Okay, so, so what, sorry. What did you say to the uh, to the <coughs> the council? So well, you... I was basically taking like five minutes or three minutes, three minutes to say, you know, hey, the downtown ambassadors they share lunch with us together, with uh, you know, uh, uh, ambassadors or not, they all come together. To join in lunch and and what um, lunch? There, there's a, a stone soup cafe. Um, people get are given. CRC is given food donations, and they uh, use whatever uh, food that they can to serve meals. Um, if they have uh, something that is enough for thirty plates, they'll go ahead and use it. If there's less than 30 plates that they can make out of specific types of food, then they generally give that stuff away. I definitely have taken home uh, um, forms of food from there before, like bananas or whatnot. Um, uh, and my other point was trying to say, hey, Cheryl Selby, how is this anarchist? And, and did they respond? Did you talk to them, or was it oh like no, them? no, it was just basically a public statement, a reading at at the podium, and and uh, how many people were there? Oh, maybe 30, 40 people. Um, I was. Uh, did they? Did you get applause afterwards? Oh no, no, no. Th th there's not really applause. Nobody, nobody's applauding. There, oh the whole yeah, thing? Uh, when uh, when I was there. Uh, a number of weeks ago, I guess, uh, um, during your uh, um, um, uh, St. Patrick's Day uh, week or whatever, um, uh, I was there, um, and uh, uh, the, the, there was uh, like applause. <coughs> there was applause for um, um, some sort of like wall going up at at the. Um, um, uh, downtown of the well and um, the mayor was like no you shouldn't applause you know the, the, which kind of really irked me and I, I, I share your misgivings about the mayor that he he's bad he's kind of needs to be heavy handed sometimes do, do you know the mayor is Buckbaum your like how do you know he doesn't know he's Carl 
Oh, oh. You, you, well, so... Go when, first! <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. You know, the he, well, well I, there was a clipboard that you have to write your name in, in, oh, okay. in, in the street address if you are so willing. You know, I, so I want to pa- practice this uh, spirit did, of transparency. Did you look at the, yeah. So I, I wrote down as much as I could about all of my information just because, you know, I, good. if I have nothing to hide... You know, I don't want to be anonymous. I mean, I I am anonymous in some respects. Did did you uh, on on the internet? But did you look at that city council member who you were against? Oh, look at them while you were doing. So when I sat down, I I was kind of confused. I'm sorry, Janine Rowe and Cheryl Silby. I think I got you guys confused. <laughs> you know, you got so, that. Well, yeah, so, uh, she, I, I, I made a, a visual note before, you know, the, there's a, the, the sign-in sheet is next to uh, their portraits. I don't know that Cheryl Selby, she, she, Selby looks like she did when she first had her picture taken. It's like... You got an aging effect going on in terms of presidents, you know, like Barack Obama. Does it look like he did, you know, seven years ago or um, when George Bush left office? And he didn't look at all like when he went going in. Eight years is a long time. Yeah. I don't know if Janine Rowe or, uh, sorry, Cheryl Selby was there for eight hours or only four, but she seemed to she be... She aged in eight hours? Uh, or or eight, eight years, but or, or four years or whatever. I don't know what her, what her term is, but um, uh, she seemed to be somewhat jumping the gun with uh, um, having this um, uh, article talked about at, on, on this last Friday. And so when I kind of challenged her in, in some respects to, you know, call her out on something that I didn't really think was quite so anarchist. Um, again, uh, the, the, the uh, Nathaniel Jones, which is the pro, you, you know, the secondary um, um, mayor, I guess, when, when the um, current mayor, he's out or he's sick or whatever, he just asked a staff person... Um, like half an hour, an hour after I I sat down about uh, the legitimacy of the downtown ambassadors. Are they are are they misappropriating funds? And two people in the chambers said no. So I was just like, didn't that city council start the downtown ambassadors in the first place? Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of like a partnership between the city and. Uh, Capital Recovery Center and a couple other places. I'm not sure of all of the um, tentacles, uh, the, all, all of the, what makes it um, the damp- downtown ambassadors be what they are. But uh, I was certainly invited by Janine Rowe, thank you Janine, on coming to uh, the council chambers on on an upcoming Wednesday and gosh there was like so much stuff that was talked about in terms of like cutting curbs back at crosswalks so that uh, wheelchairs and and kids and strollers won't have to like um, plop down on on the street uh, from the sidewalk you know at the curb um, just so many stuff uh, that, that I would want to review uh, in the in the future. Uh, so I'm going to have to go to uh, Olympia City Hall tomorrow to see if I can't uh, find this on on the internet. If I can't find it on the internet when I go home, you know, you know like council meetings or whatever YouTube video is up there on. Uh, on council meetings uh, like two weeks ago or three weeks ago I will have to say well that was a lively discussion yesterday 
how do I view it on the internet? Because I do want to take notes. That was kind of interesting. Did you get any response at all? No, no. I wasn't looking for a response. Yeah. I, I was mostly trying to say, no, Cheryl Sylvie, how do you... St- I, w- I want to be able to kind of understand how this is... How, how this is anarchist to you without wanting to specifically get a response. Well, what's the point of, of saying it then if without a response? But it, what, are you just going to say it and then... Well, th- 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 s- such as the case when you have a, uh, a newspaper article out there that is untrue. You, you know, you're not going to shout at the newspaper. You're going to go to the source. And though you can't have the source respond to you at the city council, you can certainly have that um, <coughs> uh, person sit down, uh, you know, have that person talk um, about what whatever you talked about and and this person is sitting down comfortable whatever you know carl's really uncomfortable public speaking but at least he got his word out uh, uh-huh. I, I was noticing a couple of times that mayor Bucksbump kind of was looking in my direction well, i hope you were. had the floor you're he, talking but, yeah. but, but he, he no he, when i was sitting down and and the oh afterwards yeah, the the uh, like I said, there was so much like the the um, housing and urban development. There's uh, uh, like a ten year plan that uh, there needs to be a review done, um, and um, uh, of uh, affordable housing. And you're not certainly the city is not regulated to update their plan every ten years. But I think that they had some sort of uh, carryover from 1995, so that in 2015 they kind of borrowed um, some of their materials from 1995, and and um, they're they're uh, with the limited staff that Olympia has, though, at City Hall, that. Um, uh, that they wanted to uh, uh, just say, "Oh, I could we're going to try to do this right." And so when he's doing that right, Mayor Bucksbaum kind of looked at me, and it was like kind of like surreal. But I was like, I was trying to soak everything in on on this conversation that lasted uh, from seven until ten. 45, I think, if not. That's late. Yeah, yeah, no, sh- no crap. Uh, so, <coughs> so uh, the, some of the city council members on the bench were like, I don't know about this. Uh, I'm getting, this is kind of late for me. Is that what they said? Yeah. Like, yeah. We got to get out of here. And they're like, we still have more stuff to say. Yeah. And it was kind of like, uh, I don't know. It was kind of like how some people have misgivings about watching um, uh, uh, laws be produced or whatnot. You know, it's like, oh, uh, watching uh, meat be made or something like that. Turn your face, turn don't your eyes. Don't meat. Yeah, well, no meat. Uh, yeah, no meat for me. But um, uh, 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 you don't really want to go to a sausage factory, or most people don't. And and I sometimes do. why not? Well, why, who do, who wouldn't want to go to a sausage factory? Well, because that's that where, sounds great. Well, that's because that's where meat is made, and and some what people mean? are are like uh, have this thing about uh, um, watching you know the entire political process you know drag out. You, uh, it's really interesting. I want some sausages. Um, one one of the things that I I uh, was reminded about is that Bernie Sanders was uh, really uncomfortable on, on some uh, war. I'm sure it was the war on Iraq. And so he spoke for eight hours, and I was just reminded of this within the last 48 or 72 hours myself because I, um, I wanted to know what kind of bait and switch um, uh, on the upcoming presidential 
election. Um, uh, I want to, you know, somehow advocate for Bernie Sanders to be the same person that he um, w w once he takes office. If it's going to be him, it could certainly be Hillary, or it could certainly be someone, some GOP contender or whatnot. Uh, but uh, I think that the cards are good for uh, Bernie Sanders. So anyway, my point about Bernie Sanders when I'm talking about this is that um, uh, I want Bernie Sanders to not do too much of a bait and switch, if that makes any sense. So like uh, Clinton's campaign pa Who's platform. Bernie Sanders? Oh, he's he's running against Hillary Clinton. Um, um, For the Democratic, uh, yeah. what's it called, nomination? Nomination. It's it's either going to be Hillary or, or Bernie Sanders. Well, the, there there's a number of contenders, um, and it's up there to I guess maybe eight individuals, ten individuals. I, I'm not sure what it was um, uh, eight years ago. Um, but uh, it was something like that in the start, the the start of the running. Um, uh, Kucinich was uh, uh, somewhat of a favorite of mine, and then I guess it was like Howard Dean, or was that 2006? Anyway, I don't know. Yeah, you, you remember him? Yeah, as ah, yeah, and That's that all I kind of killed his campaign. But anyway, I... You got uh, too excited. When you got these politicians, I just, you know, I, I don't know how, 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 how possible it is. It's probably not possible at me at all. But I was want, I want, you know, politicians to not do a bait and switch on their platform. So when Clinton has a powerful platform or Obama has a powerful platform, but then Obama has... Larry Summers and Clinton, you know, is like tight with Alan Greenspan. That that's not really good for the the um, the majority of the country. Who's Alan Greenspan? Alan Greenspan was uh, the uh, Federal Reserve Chairman, and he was really dry in his language. Um, if <laughs> you um, want him to be a comedian, if, he's a financial guy. Yeah, well, yeah, he's a financial guy. He should but, be dry. Well. Uh, well, there's a difference between being dry and then being, like, stale, arid. I think um, he should be stale and arid. I, don't, I think he, he, that guy should be in, in no way entertaining. Well, anyway, right. But he was, uh, he had basically advocated for, um, I guess, tax cuts for the rich. Um, it, it was like a... Uh, a favorite uh -oh. that kind of carried over for for George Bush as well. So George Bush was like, yeah, I like Alan's green, Greenspan. Hey. That's your George Bush impression? Uh, sadly, Sounds yes. Sounds like Beavis, huh? Or Butthead. What about, is, is, what'd you say that he, Bush said? Oh, uh, Bush, you? Alan you Greenspan, that? I like you. Hey. That's not what Bush sounds like very much. Oh, <laughs> Oh, we're well. Sorry. It's after. Oh, we're going to it's uh, apparently it's after uh, nine. I am Greenspan. Well, that, that's my. That's, that's the Southern Texan. Well, it, well, yeah, right. Who knows where he was born from? But uh, but he he tried to do Texas talk. Well, yeah. Anyway, it's eleven past eleven thirty at night. Apparently, when um um uh, the um. Uh, uh, this nice gentleman that I'll call Steve calls the program just to check up on us. Hey, you're not on. You're not on right now. Uh huh. But we're hyper live, so you can call that number and maybe we'll be uh, recording that 11:30 um, next week. Yeah. Or maybe tomorrow. Who maybe. knows? Who knows Do what's going to happen? Do you know? I I'm I'm still looking for my cue cards for, for now it's info uh, time. Oh you, well not you just guys. info time but
you're watching your daily hour with me. It's our hour-long co- hyper-live call and television talk show that's recorded every day in Thurston County, seven days a week, 365 days a year, 366 only peers. Why are you still VUF began on September 19, 2010. It tapes a week in advance, so if you're watching this on TV, 11.30 p.m. on Channel 22, TCTV, this episode taped on the same day, weekday of the previous week. If you're watching this at... 2 a.m. This episode taped on the same day of the month of the previous year. You can also watch any episode of the program on YouTube.com. Anyway, you can come on the program, especially you. We will lie in the community for content. So give us a call at 360-836-434. Leave a message. We'll play your message on the next episode. we we'll call you back. Thank you. Your daily So, yeah, I wasn't able to finish my... Uh, speech as I wrote it, but that's okay. So that's what I was talking about. Cue cards. Where's your speech now? You didn't bring. Oh, you didn't bring it. Oh well, yeah. Can I hear the speech. Well, it's it's kind of dry, like Alan Greenspan. What was their opening line of your speech? Uh, hello. My name is Carl Bond, and I'm a concerned Olympian. Um, concerned. Yeah, the, the, this is what's interesting. I, I inserted the words honesty and integrity from the energy that I kind of somewhat borrowed from um, uh, Cornell West's uh, talk at Evergreen uh, uh, last night. You know, he kept on saying, you must have integrity and honesty. And no, you. I don't think so. Well... If you, what's so important about that stuff? Well, what's the whole point? The whole point is to be a, more of a genuine human being and, and less of, of uh, a human being that mm, is so uh, um, trying to segregate or oppress or or just subjugate, you know. Uh, so, segregate, oppress, subjugate, can strangle. person or a group of people or... Discriminate. Yeah, um... I, I kind of look what at kind of Cornell West speech as being some sort of commencement address. You know, you're given this lofty speech. You know, he's the, not a, he's the, not the a world racist. is your oyster. The world is your pearl. Cornell, but Cornell. you need to treat that pearl with respect, or something. And and so, is he, but is he a racist? Well, uh, hopefully not. If he's if he is, well. Um, I, I guess it would be okay in a certain sense if he was kind of oppressive to the white community because I, I, I'll, I'll just be honest, white men are much white more, w- well, m- white men and women are much more productive economically and whatever else standard that you want to go by. Uh-huh. That, you know, that's why... They're, better, they're doing better? That's you think why they're better people? Well, yeah, well, that's why yeah. there's er, affirmative... Well, yeah, there's. that's why there's affirmative action. Because white people are better? Well, not because they're better, because they do better. Okay. The, there needs to be a balance of scale. And, and You're for affirmative action? I'm, I'm certainly for affirmative action. If I can get more... African Americans, you, you what know, about people. Sure. What about Dominicans? You you know, take those jobs Dom- away Dominican from the, in Africa. Well, take those jobs black, from the black people? white Americans and give it to to black Americans. Well, someone that is hopefully more qualified than the white folks, and certainly if you can do a better job, um, you can have this part of the couch. Um, African American black person. people. Well, yeah. What about <laughs> Jamaicans? Um, sure. You know, Native Americans, uh, Swahili. You know, uh, someone. About, you know, Russian. You know, Scandinavian, um, uh, Eskimoian. Um, I. It don't matter to me if you can do the job better than I can at, at McDonald's or. Or at McDonald's, Fortune 500 company, you should have that job more than I should. You know, well, that's they already have that job more than you. Well, some 
Well, yeah, but if I was working at a position, if I was working then as you'd want to keep that a position, graphic designer though. and um, as a graphic designer, I kept on opening, <coughs> I kept on opening and closing, uh, quitting out of Photoshop, you know, just to waste time with the computer, whereas, you know, some um, higher-minded graphic designer would be like, no, you've got to do this and that and, you know, do your work and get paid and whatnot. I, I don't I don't really think it's appropriate to have incompetency in the world. So if you're not competent, if you're white, you know, <laughs> you're if, white. You're, if you're anything that allows something to not come into fruition that is like not putting the best foot for, forward in terms of the world, what are you doing? What are you doing if you're not, you know, putting your best foot forward? Are so. you putting your best foot forward? I, well, I, I hope I am. I'm missing something. Um, well, anyway, yeah. Get a, get a, get a, get a job, Carl. Get a, go, be, go, I'm going to go join a Fortune 500 company. Uh, well, I could be doing that, or maybe I'll never do that because I'm anti-capitalist and I just want to... Pro form of action. Anti-capitalist. Uh, yeah. Hey, look at that. You like justice, Carl? Uh... We're about to play the dice game. It's certainly when it applies to the Super Friends. Here we go. But that's comic books and cartoons from 20 years ago, Carl. Let's Come roll on. with the Ark of Come Justice. On, Carl. People want you to shake the dice up. I think maybe it would be more just and... Maybe help out some... I could help out some minorities. Minorities... We need help. Here we go. Oh, oh, six, five, five. Yeah, well, me and Carl still have five hundred points with our four, but we're on our way to a straight right now. Yeah, look at this. Last year. Oh, two o'clock. That's when I'm supposed to be at work usually. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Hey, How it's is Dan. So, on today's program, we make some phone calls, uh, leave messages with Mr. Ginsu and Freddy. Uh, I talk uh, at length about the Book of Mormon and my experience. There's um, Charlie. And what else? What else? Uh, we yeah, we call some dogs here all about the Mormon stuff mostly. Uh, uh, and uh, and show up. 11.30 and 2 a.m. on TCTV Channel 22 and 2 a.m. on 106.5 Koa FM Radio calling Maybe. about... Uh yep, yep, yep. Um, I think we should call Bird. Even though it's a little bit late, but Bird is scheduled to be here tomorrow. I wonder if he's awake. Well, we can certainly leave him a message. Also, somebody... Somebody said that uh, they, that Bird is giving their phone number around some. Oh yeah, well I I think uh, I think he got a cell phone uh, since that time, and maybe this cell phone is. Um, yeah, I tried calling him actually after we um, uh, uh, tried cleaning off the gallery, and I could only. Voicemail with this roommate, but he Bird eventually got the message and came down later on that day, and everything worked out fine. Hi. Hey, oh, Bird, hey. you're awake. Hi. Did we wake you up? No, no. Oh, um, maybe you should go to bed soon. You sound like you're a little sleepy. I might be a little sleepy. I'm kind of wrapping it up. Hey, looks like somebody, uh, you somebody sent us a text message. Scott from Pigeon Parade. Oh, yes, yeah. Who is that? Yeah, yeah he, Scott from Pigeon Parade. Yeah. Yes, uh, he's the one who was playing accordion on stage right. 
the accordion player, is he? Yeah, from the back. Yeah, and he mentioned that uh, he uh, want, wanted to perform on the program, so you could you could call him back and ask him to schedule. When when did you talk? Where did you see him? Um. Well, uh, I actually work with him. Oh, oh yeah. Small yeah, world. Maybe yeah. We'll, maybe we'll call yeah, him. Yeah, and, and I know him from Free Choir as well. Is he? He's not a TCTV oh. person, is he? Hmm. No, I would say I would say no. All right. No. Well, yeah. you're, you're scheduled to be here tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. What time? How's uh? Like 9:30, Sam. That sounds really great. Yeah, can I bring anything besides uh, my usual wonderful self? Well, you can. Yeah, bring uh, uh, a million dollars. And yeah, give me a dollar. Okay. Um, I like that. You're, you you made those good attitude. Do you, have any, do you have any more of those gyozas? There, those were pretty good. You can bring some of those. I like those things. Jojos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jojos. That's what we get to. Jojos. Snacks. Uh, Ding dongs. Oh, malted milk balls. <laughs> uh, I, I, I like I like savory. Oh, oh, you want the gyoza? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll get a a bag and bring it over to your house and cook it fresh. Oh, <laughs> we can cook it. You got any clean, uh, you know, pan. pots and pans? I think maybe I might. I might. Uh, <laughs> Carl, Carl, Carl talked to the uh, city council today. Oh. Have you ever done that before? <laughs> yeah. You Carl, have? Carl, you talked to the city council. You went there live? Yeah, I did. Cool, cool. Yeah, I actually saw the city council meeting on... CCTV briefly I sort of glanced at it and Nathaniel Jones was on the you know close up and then they went to the wide view mm. oh yeah I didn't we, know we what they were talking clip? about I it was just passing can we get the, can we get the clip from you on city council and watch it on the program or oh yeah you oh. should download that and upload it can we you can download it off their website yeah can we, what do you think, yeah. Carl? You think that's a, okay? Yeah, no, I, I'll, I'll try grabbing a, a clip of myself, maybe, or I, I don't know uh, when that, when that video will be available. Yeah, sometimes it's not available for a couple days. They're again, they gotta edit something. Well, I don't, I, yeah. yeah. They don't need to edit anything. All right. Mm-hmm. All right well, mm-hmm. Hey, thanks, but we'll see you tomorrow, Bird. Yes. Looking forward to it. All right. You all have fun tonight. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Nine thirty, bro. All right. We're gonna call. Oh boy. I guess we're gonna call this this Scott back guy back. I I don't know. It's late at night. Well, but that's what we're gonna do anyway. Knowing bands, maybe. Yeah, this guy is a rock and roll guy. I think. Yeah. Hey, are you into rock and roll? Are gonna... you doing that Elvis Presley thing? Uh huh. Up all night. Uh, thank you, thank you. Actually, actually, this is Dan. Hey, yeah, Dan. He did. Hey, it is, it is, uh, how late it is. He's coming back. Uh, coming man. back. Touch the lots of kitties. Bye. Well, maybe it matters. We'll call you back like after this. maybe we can get to the voicemail of the... Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Three. Bye. 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 Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Scott from Pigeon Parade, it's the program. We're calling you back or you left us a text and then we're calling you. Are you a sleeper at night? Do you sleep or are you doing that rock and roll Elvis Presley thing? Uh, staying up all night? Uh, you can call us back. I don't know how much time you have left. Not that much, I think. Uh, but call us back anyway. Leave a message and talk to you later. You can get on the show with your 
uh, washboard or whatever it is. All right, here we go. We're calling Dan Dobler back even though I think it's kind of late. <laughs> uh, let's uh, also do this. Oh. Yeah. The last of our routine. Get it done. Get it done. Yeah, Boom. Let's roll the dice. Three dice. The voicemail box the mailbox to Dan belonging to Dan Dobler is full and cannot accept new messages at this time. To leave a callback Four. number, press five, or please try again later. Five. You gotta throw a roll. <laughs> there you go. Five. Dan. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. People complain. <laughs> people have been complaining that you're just drop. You're just dropping them, and I said that you get to you get to decide. It doesn't matter if you're dropping them. You just uh, you get to decide. Well, we have 500 points, but who won total? Zilger, that's us though. Wait, go back. Somebody else won. Five. Yeah, but still. Carl Jr. Focus. Focus. Carl Jr. got 1,500 points. We only got 1,000 points, right? We got a thousand points, but Carl Jr. beaten by your own son. It's like when you're playing basketball. Eventually, you play basketball with your son, and then you know when you're when you're small, or when the son when your son is small, you have to take it easy on him, and then eventually he'll beat you. One day, your son will beat you. Oh, Carl Jr.'s number is coming off, huh? Carl Jr., how old number? How will we know? Maybe we, we could remove the numbers now. We, we know what they are, but we can also just leave them. All right. Well, I think we're getting down to it. I'm just calling it. I'm not really sure though. You think we're getting down to it, or do you think we have some more time? It's confusing. heads or tails. Yeah. What is it? Which one is it? So is that all the stuff? I know you said you, you're like I had so much to say. Oh, oh yeah, we were getting yeah. down to it. Wow. Well, that's, that's about it that I had to say. I was um, I, w I was right. We 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 did it. We got we got down to it. It's it's the end of the program. We made it through another program this program without losing consciousness or dying. I wasn't so sure today. I uh, have to thank uh, Olympia City Council, uh, being mindful of the presence within yourself uh, to kind of create change or make change or carry. Um, energy, you know, try to make uh, political p parties, I guess, with your presence. Be honest and genuine with integrity. It's all good. And aptitude. Thanks, Dan Dobler. Yeah. And Bird. Nine, eight, uh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Anybody else? Uh, Oh, Angry Steve. Oh, Angry Steve, 1,690 on a Tuesday. Thank you. TCTV, 11.30 p.m. and 2 a.m. YHWM.com. There we go. 360, 360384. Call in, leave a message, get on TV. Can you go to the room if you want, though? Dale, Duck Hugger, Mary, Miranda, Ortiz. UFO, Zilger, UFO, PI, Tulsi TV, Crystal Ball, LeBay, Dree, Cabo, Station County, Washington State, USA, thank you, viewers only. Yeah, dog! Woof, woof! Bye bye now! Until tomorrow. Coming up on the next episode of the program. Your daily hour with me. Yeah. Hey, everybody. It's a commercial for the program. We're here with Bird. Hey, Bird. Hey, everybody. We talk to Dan Dobler a lot. Yep. We talk about explosions. Yep. And oil trains. Get another explosion in North Dakota. 
the board. 11.30 p.m. and 2 a.m. on TCTV Channel 22, 360-836-4384. Call or not.